Hey, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Fish Meat for Dinner. Today I'm fishing on Lake Poygan. It's a lake that I fish a lot. And today I'm just trolling for walleye. Um, it's early in the year, and this is the best time to catch them out here. So, just out here, we got a nice walleye chop. You can see the boat's bouncing a little bit, but it's a pretty much ideal conditions to catch them. So, just got off of work, and I figured I'd come out here and try to catch my limited walleye. So, just uh, going through the, the motions, really. I got a lot of spots on this lake, and uh, just got to troll enough of them, and eventually I'm bound to get on a hot streak. Oh, four down. We got fish on, look what I was saying. Pretty good fish. Can't even shoot an intro. I'm so good at catching fish. Got off. Well, it's a good sign. Okay. So, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, so what I'm doing is I'm trolling. I'm doing about two miles per hour to 1.8 miles per hour. And what I'm running is I'm running these number five flicker shads. It's one of my favorite baits to use. And then I'm also running some of these Salmo Hornets in the number four. So I'm trolling them, like I said, at two miles per hour. I got on an offshore planer board, 10 feet back from the board, and then I let them out and evenly space them. And uh, here in Wisconsin, you're only able to run three rods a person, so I got my three rods out. I got two of them in my rod tree system here that I got, and then I have one on the side in my track system that I usually use for downriggers. But I just figured. I'd uh, try a different approach with that, so we'll see if that makes a difference at all, but the wind seems to be blowing to the north to northeast, so um, yeah, it's going to make it a little interesting. Oh, I just saw a fish jump out there, but right now I'm fishing in four to five feet of water, so like I said, I got them from anywhere from 10 to 16 feet uh, back get some down in that depth range but there seems to be a little bit of foliage down there since it's early in the year the foliage is growing up so what I'm doing is I'm running them about a foot off bottom so that way I don't get any of that foliage and hopefully they're cruising on top of that uh, foliage and I can get a bite so just trolling over some waypoints that I had previously and uh, see if we can't pick up a couple fish. So now that I've kind of broken down what we're doing here, um, I guess we'll just get after it and try to get some fish. Um, I already got my net extended. So I'm all ready to go. I uh, just got on the floor here and uh, it stows away really nice. This part folds up and then this part closes in as well. So, yeah. Just uh, gonna chill, troll some spots, and uh, just switch out baits when I feel like it. So, um, on my graph, I'll show you here. I just got my GPS on there so I can see where my uh, waypoints were from previous years as well as I uh, have my side imaging on just to see if I can't 
see where these fish are kind of relating to so other than that not much going on just waiting for a bite and I'm using a 12 pound monofilament and I like to use the green tinted suffix because it kind of matches the water a little bit um, and it allows when the fish takes it, it allows it to stretch a little bit so that it's not just ripping its lips off. But just waiting patiently and uh, <clears throat> thinking about all other spots I want to try. This is a pretty big lake, so a lot of areas to, to go explore. Luckily I have a lot of experience on this lake and I kind of know where to go. Also if you guys ever um, get into trolling, um, one helpful app that you can get on your phone is called Trollmaster. You can get it right off the app store and on there it'll show you uh, all the baits and what depths to run them at based on how deep the water is. So, It'll tell you, say you're running eight feet of water and you're using one of these uh, number five flicker shads. It'll tell you how many feet back from the planer board you got to run it so then it gets down there and uh, does what you want it to do. So that's an app. I believe it's around two to three dollars per like lure. So pick your lures wisely that you want the depths for. And then I think there's some books and other stuff, and maybe you could go on a couple websites and look it up as well. But that kind of helps without having to spend a lot of time with trial and error trying to figure out what depth ranges work. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. You might see me looking back a lot, just checking the planer boards because fish could strike at any moment. And when that moment happens, I want to be able to be there and get that fish, so. Kind of getting a little bit to the end of our run. So, might pick it up here in a little bit and head over a different spot and try that out. This spot ain't, ain't producing. I'm marking some stuff on the graph on the side image, but I don't know. This is what they look like. I don't want that to focus. Try to focus it. I don't know. It's a little fly looking thing. Anyway. Dumb things are like Fish, fish frenzy type deals. Them things, well what happens is they're all hatching. They're all on the bottom of the lake and they hatch and they come up to the water column because they go upward. And then once they get to the top, they like, hold up their wings and whatever and then they fly so in that transition period of where they're going from the bottom to the top of the water the fish it's easy pickings you know and you can't really fish something that small that looks like a little fly and expect to catch a lot so the next best thing is you have bait fish that are also eating all these flies, you know? So that's what we're trying to match. We're trying to match all these little bait fish and shad and all these other different uh, creatures. We're trying to match that and make that a slim picking for them as well. So that's kind of like the, the breakdown of why we're doing what we're doing because 
It makes sense. You know, you try to match the hatch, they call it. And if you can't match a little fly, you go to the next best thing. So, although, I don't know where the wall is. <laughs> Two sheep bed, freshwater drum, but nothing else yet. Still marking some stuff on the ground. And you know, the pelicans, they'd have to eat like two million of them little flies to fill their stomach up. What do you think they're trying to eat? They're trying to eat the bait fish that are eating the flies as well. So, that's, that's why I thought this spot was gonna be really good because you get them bait fish and you got the flies there the whole ecosystem should be there you know it only makes sense that if the birds are eating the minnows and the fish are gonna eat the minnows and the minnows are eating the flies it all kind of fits together but we just got to put a pattern together here and so far we're getting about a fourth of the information that we need once we get our first walleye then we'll have about half of the information and then the other uh, quarter of the information is the area that they're in whether it's a bay and whatever. And then probably the last fourth of the information that we need is what depth that they're in. So, once we got that figured out, then we can pretty much slam, so. Just a matter of uh, trial and error and trying to figure out what works. I just moved out into about six feet of water here in the last couple minutes because uh, some of the pelicans are moving out deeper. But I'm not seeing as much on my graph, and it could just be me pushing the, the pelicans out because they see my boat. <clears throat> so we're gonna. The, the flies are still here, they're bugging me, but we're going to make a slight turn in, and if that don't work, then we're going to make a turn out, and then a turn in, just keep going, see what works. And then, I think, once I get a little bit up here, I might change the colors of the baits that we're running as well. And just reel them in to make sure they're running correctly. You hate to be dragging around a lure that isn't functioning correctly, doesn't have the right action. Just kind of wasting uh, time and whatever. Fish on. This one's fighting pretty hard. Big flies are getting mad. Drum. Lively one. Yeah. 
Sheephead Nation. The show. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at him. He got a tumor on his head. Tumor. but we got another fish. acting real strange. Parasites in his gills. Weird. Oh, sheep head over here. That's kind of why I despise a fish in his lake sometimes. Fish on.
gonna try to get it off. fish on this one too. Or at least there was a fish. Those things are in our system like you would not believe. People hate these things so much. I just caught three in a row. They're all useless. Jump. 